Okay, Frank, you're going to talk about data portability and interoperability with JMAP for Nextcloud. Um, so build on IMAP, Cardav, and Caldev. This, this proves to be very interesting for all of us, I think. So the floor is yours. So welcome to my first lightning talk about data portability and interoperability with JMAP for Nextcloud. As said, my name is Frank Dengler, and I'm working for Audriga which is a company specialized in data migration from any to any platform and for several data types like email, contacts, calendar, and files. And I first, in this only five-minute presentation, want to give you an overview quickly about JMAP. Um, who have heard about JMAP already? Okay, a few here. Okay, so... Um, and um, then I will quickly talk about the Open Export project, which um, was funded by the DAPSI initiative of the European Union here, where we um, yeah, did some work for JMAP here and also developed uh, a JMAP app for, for Nextcloud, which of course is the last thing I want to quickly go into here. So JMAP, JMAP stands for JSON Meta Application Protocol. And it provides standardized data formats and REST APIs for um, several things like email, contacts, calendars, tasks, and many more here. And it's described in an RFC here. So um, it builds on experience with yeah, well-known protocols like IMAP, CARTAF, and CALDAF. But it also uses novel JSON data formats like uh, JS Calendar and JS Contacts, which is the successor here of iCalendar and vCard. So the goal of it is to improve the performance, interoperability, and data portability by providing a unified API here for mail and groupware data. It has been adopted by many, yeah, or various projects here like Cyrus, FastMail, HCL nodes, and it's also considered currently for uh, Thunderbird and Apple Mail. And details can be found here under uh, jmap.io uh, if you're interested in getting more information here. So, as said, uh, we participated here in the Open Export Initiative, uh, where we yeah, wanted to provide open source components for Java, uh, for jmap here. And what we have done here, we created libraries here to easily implement JMAP for existing Java and PHP-based applications. And we also tried to enrich the standard here to make it extensible for further data formats, which, for example, we use later in larger data migration projects, for example, to also extract here email settings. And Within the project, we implemented uh, JMAP API support for several webmail systems like Roundcube, Horde, or SquirrelMail. And we also implemented uh, JMAP support for Nextcloud here. If you want to get here more information, you can go to the project homepage. I think the, the, the slides are shared later. So yeah, you can easily find the links here. So, now, I think that's the more interesting slide for you here as the next cloud community here, what we have done here. Um, we have used uh, the open export libraries here to, um, to implement a JMAP app for Nextcloud. This is uh, published on, on GitHub, where you can download it and play around with it. It currently supports here the data import of contacts and uh, calendar data from the contact and calendar app here. And we plan here to support additional Nextcloud apps here, like uh, Deck and Tasks, uh, where we could utilize JMAP for tasks here, or on the mail side, JMAP Mail. And also, we are looking into extending it for further concepts like tables. And here is a quick cross-reference uh, to my talk on Tuesday on the uh, Enterprise Day here, where I want to talk a little bit about SharePoint to Nextcloud migrations. So I hope I stay in time here for the five minutes. And if there are questions or something coming up, we could have a conversation later or now. Thanks. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much, Frank. <laughs> Perfectly uh, within time.
Yes, you're going to speak also at the Next Cloud Enterprise uh, Day about the, uh, indeed the migration scenario. So uh, thank you so much for informing us and telling us about uh, what you're doing.